welcome to Deja Vu Tembro. I'm back. Yes, haters. I'm always going to come back. Once again, this is a collection of energies. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This is a sexual tarot read for Pisces, Pluto, Mercury, and Leo. Pisces, you can have a Pisces with Leo in your chart, or Leo, you can have a Pisces in your chart, or this could be two separate people. Mercury is on the board, talks about communication, and Pluto talks about making a change, whether it's a spiritual change, physical change, or changing of the mental. So somebody wants to make a change in Pisces, I feel like it's you, and you need to communicate this. And this Leo over here is acting like she's not impressed, okay? I'm going to tell you why. Cards that flew out for Leo, I have pulled a couple of T decks just to get started. What's the T? And what came out was distorted feminine. And I feel like it's Leo who's a distorted feminine. She is acting a fool here because she feels trapped in a toxic connection. Okay? Now, this could be the other way around. You could be a Leo with Pisces in your chart feeling trapped with a distorted feminine because this person, you're realizing you're in a toxic connection and she's acting a fool in your connection and you are very unimpressed with this person and you are ready to leave the connection. Now take your pick. Vice versa. We have Pluto on the board. You could be a male Pisces need to communicate to a Leo woman that you need to make some changes and you're very imp unimpressed with her toxic ways okay this person has no regret for being toxic okay she is faker than a five dollar bill because i got a fake five dollar bill here she faker than a five dollar bill okay and she got hidden agendas with the 12th house all right she's hiding the fact that she's faking she do anything for clout views she could be faking to be like the Divine Feminine, yet she's distorted. She's faking like she has certain beliefs, which she doesn't. She actually don't even believe in none of the stuff that she's on here saying she believe in. Because it's a hidden agenda. Agenda. This is what she do for her hobbies, her leisure activity. Okay, she's confident in her work. She could be faking like she's confident, but she's not. She could be doing witchcraft, acting like the Divine Feminine. She doesn't have any regrets about it. And this is what she's hiding. Okay. We have the first house that talks about one's identity. So like I said, she's fake. So she could be faking like the Divine Feminine. She could be hiding the fact that she has split personalities. She's acting like she's confident, but yet she's fake. It says identity in the first house talks about how to express yourself. So she, she could be trying to express herself like she's religious and all this. And she's really not. She got hidden agenda. She's toxic, spirit say. She's very toxic. Okay. She needs to let go of her toxic ways, her bad habits, her addictions. This could be an ex-lover as well for some of you. Okay, and Spirit is saying, 8th house, you need to end this shit. It talks about a death and a rebirth. So you could have ended this with an ex-lover that's a Leo here. And this person is still faking, having hidden agendas. She could, Or you could be with this person and they having it with the ex-lover. Some hidden agendas here. Now, what I'm picking up too, she could be in cahoots with a toxic lover here. Okay, it could be up to two women, and they both acting a fool. They are very toxic, and they're neither one of them have any regret. They have some hidden agendas here. Trying to act like they're confident. They're confident in whatever their agenda is. So let's see what their agenda, agenda is. I'm going to use my Decameron Tarot. Happy 4th of July, by the way. Yeah, 
I cut the uh, wire off. Oh. Close the door. All right. So the judgment fool out over fake. So these people probably know that they're under judgment for ha under the judgment for their sexual behavior. They could have been having a lot of sexual partners here, and they acting a fool about it behind closed doors. They're trying to act unimpressed with anybody else, but they're scared because they know they've been doing a lot of shit behind closed doors, hidden truth, secrets, karma. So they're having a lot of karma. They could be. Having some mental karma and they crazy. With the Nine of Wands, they are wounded. They're very wounded. For some of their actions, they could be acting very guarded here. Three of Cups talks about third parties. So they had a lot of sexual behavior. So that's what they're hiding. The Hermit, yeah. The Hermit talks about being in secret, okay? So they, that's what they're hiding. They're hidden the agenda is that they could be doing it with this ex-lover over here. So both of them could be having some rendezvous. And did some, some sexual cult sex could be. Some type of sexual, you know, hidden sexual sex. This could be you, Pisces. Take your pick with an emperor. The emperor, you could be the Pisces, and you got a Leo over here who's distorted, and she faking like she goody two shoe. Meanwhile, she been having a lot of third party sex. Could be with your ex lover here, or with her ex lover. They could be in the same sex relationship. And she doesn't care. Spirit saying she's not caring, so that's why she's under judgment. Spirit is revealing everything here. What's the hidden agenda? The hidden agenda is that they don't want it to be over. They don't want to change with Pluto on the board. They're acting like they're happy and they're high vibrational, but they're not. They're very low vibrational. That's the true spirit telling me. The truth was revealed. That this person is not changed. Like I said, she could have been acting like she was very spiritual and this and this. Yeah, can't make it up like she's a high priestess. Okay? And she's not. And the truth came out. The lovers. Yeah, she's been having a lot of sex with a lot of lovers here. You could be having a divine feminine and she knew about it. So, with the High Priestess upright, she could be having secret lovers, and that's what's the, the hidden agenda. Four swords. Yeah, they could be, like, sick, so be careful. So, she got a lot of secret lovers. That's the hidden agenda here. She don't want the truth to get out. The Death in Reverse talks about a change. What's the Death in Reverse? She don't want it to end here. Or maybe she said that it was over with this ex-lover. Now, this could be a male, too, that, that said that they're not messing with the ex-lover. Maybe she told you that, Pisces. And the hidden truth is, she is. And not only is this it's not over with this ex-lover, this third party, she has a lot of other secret lovers that she's messing with. Okay, that's what's the hidden agenda, is that she's still having sex with her ex-lover here. Could be same-sex relationship. She could be in a hermit with this ex-lover here. And judgment came because it got revealed. We got the sun and the ex of swords on the board. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, she didn't. She don't want to invest in you. She don't. Nine of Swords. She having a lot of anxiety. Is because she probably. Mm, she's acting a fool behind closed doors. Yeah, ten of wands. She burning. Like I say, she acting a fool here. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? The moon. 
because the secrets is out. Okay, secrets is out. This is the moon upright, moon in reverse. Secrets is out. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's a Capricorn she could be messing with here. Maybe she's still married. And she's burdened by that because she ain't got no money. Maybe she acting like she's like got some big time money here. The devil. She can have a sex addiction. The hangman. The devil got her stuck. Toxicity. What's the devil and the hangman? They could have been playing with magic. Oh, this court justice. So she could be getting a divorce with the Queen of Pentacles. Also, the Queen is a wife card of the deck. And if it's in reverse, that's a wife about to get a divorce here. So that's what's burdening her because everything got revealed or it will be. Or it is revealed on some type of way that she's seeing it. Maybe you're not seeing it yet, Pisces. But with judgment here in the upright, yeah, it's got, it got revealed here. And I feel like she's obsessed with the fact that she's going to get a divorce and she's not going to have no money. That's what's burdening her. And she's still secretly having some rendezvous with a lot of lovers here. Yeah, she's selfish, they say. She could be drinking a lot. Yeah, four of wands in reverse. That's a divorce. So she's getting a divorce. She's going to be single. She could be drinking a lot, stressed. Yeah, she acting a fool, spirit say. She acting a fool. Now take your pick. This could be a masculine. But we got the distorted feminine on the board so this is a distorted feminine king of wands so she been having sex with like cult sex could be a part of some type of group or family here seven of swords so she lied about having a third party she could be secretly married here she Something got to get communicated because this is messing her up. She needs to communicate this. King of Wands and that Ten of Cups here. Page of Swords. Somebody watching. Eight of Cups watching you walk away. So she could be acting like she's unimpressed. Yeah, so she's watching you walk away. Something got revealed of how she were. Maybe you found out about this. About this third party here. This king of cups in reverse. She don't love you. She's acting like she don't love you. But she yet. She's stalking you. She's obsessed. She's drinking a lot. She acting a fool. King of wands. She's still having sex with her secret lovers though. She's trying to take you to court. Or you getting a divorce from this person. She's obsessed with the devil here. She's drinking a lot. She irresponsible. She ain't got no money. So it's really bugging her. Devil in the court contract. Oh, she made a contract with the devil for some money. Okay, so she did some type of magic for money. She could be having sex for money. Yeah, seven of cups. A lot of options here. I feel like she could have put so many people drink. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Yeah, she ain't got no money, so she been having sex for money. Yeah, two of Pentacles. She's juggling with this ex-lover over here, too, so it could have been both of them doing it. That's the secret. So it could have came out or she needs to communicate this because she could be going to jail. She acting a fool because of the devil. She made a contract with the devil. That's why she acting a fool. This king of wands here. She got a third party masculine that she's still sleeping with. Eight of cups. She watching you walk away because she don't love you. But yet she's burdened because she don't got no money. That's what's making her act a fool. And then she over here done made a contract deal with the devil. 
to try to stop this high priestess here because the high priestess was telling the truth. Yeah, secret out. That she ain't healed and she faked it in the fine out of bill with her ex lover over here. This third party and she know this person gonna decide to go back to their true person here. So it's really eating her up about it. Yeah, she getting karma. And she know it. And she could be hiding this from you, but everything got revealed here. So you probably know already. Alright. So since yeah, it got revealed on the phone. Okay, you probably saw something on a text message, a phone, uh, uh the, the high priestess could have told you, you could have watched some type of divination reading here. You saw some receipts and text messages, something. She could be watching some on the phone. If she watch a lot of tarot, she's knowing that her story is coming out. And it's getting revealed that she's going to lose her home. She already probably lost it. Some of y'all fighting over her home. Alright, so let's just get some... Uh, let's get some alphabet cards. Let's just see what comes out. I'm curious. Holy Spirit, can we get some alphabet on who this collective is? Who is this distorted feminine and this ex lover? Give me some uh, letters on this distorted feminine. Show me what I need to see. Give me some letters on this distorted feminine. Okay, PL. It's about a place. So they fighting over a home here. See, it's about a place. So she could be trying to get a home, fighting over a home. We got Jet, CJ. We got L. So we got two L. So that's confirmation. So L, P, C, J, K. So those are the letters on the distorted feminine. Give me some letters on X lover here. We got O. First name, middle initial, last name, guys. Z. We got Y. We got B. So B saw something on the phone here. X, so, so it could have been a BX, okay, B's X, or some X lover, yeah, X lover, it could be B, O, Y, Z, any other letters for X lover, R, two O's and an E, so row, I don't know, row, Zo. BX. Alright, so that has been your reading. I'm going to leave it there. Goes around, comes around. Deja vu, Tarot.